Liquor liability laws have frustrated several business owners in the upstate because of the costly prices. Tonight, our 7 News' is Colin Riviello tells us more about the impact it's having on businesses in our area. After several upstate bars shut down, some bar owners banded together to create the South Carolina Bar and Tavern Association, hoping to affect some change. This is a call to action. Businesses all over South Carolina are closing because of unaffordable alcohol liability insurance. It's a frustration flooding businesses. You miss this one? Oh yeah, I mean I miss it. The Blind Horse Saloon blames their closure on the high cost of liquor liability insurance. Just so everybody in South Carolina knows, there's a requirement to, to carry a million dollars of liability insurance if you serve alcohol past 5 p.m. That insurance policy covers the business and its patrons in the event of a lawsuit, but the high coverage rates caused many insurance companies to drop their policies. Business owners say the remaining insurers have increased their prices. Over the last five to six years, I've seen our insurance on average go up 50, 60 to 70 percent. We uh, were able to find insurance at the last minute comparable to uh, what we had the year prior. But when it comes back around, we don't know what we're going to face. With existing business owners speaking out, it begs the question whether the businesses should shoulder all the responsibility. I think the uh, establishment, whether it be a bar or a restaurant, should have some liability. But let's, let's be fair, uh, people come to a bar to drink and they have to be held accountable. It's a lot to put on a company or whatever for them to be able to survive and give their uh, employees a living wage. Customers we spoke to say it wouldn't be fair to them if their favorite bar went out of business because of the risk that other patrons take with alcohol. I hope the public becomes aware of the fact that the insurances are rising in bars and restaurants to the point where they're going to be put out of business. In Greenville, Colin Riviello, 7 News.